Good morning everyone, welcome to Something Saturday. So today I'm actually going to have a play around with these dies here which are called Give It A Whirl dies. And I bought them not that long ago because um, somebody else had been telling me about them and I just was looking at them in the catalogue and I thought, you know, that looks really interesting, maybe I should get them. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, this is what you get in the kit. So there's some um, interesting components to it and initially I'm I'm like how does it all work so because I was a bit like that I thought maybe I should actually show you guys how it all works too so the first card I made up was this one here and this uses the trees for sale stamp set which is in the um, mini catalog um, there is a a die set that goes with it in the celebration catalog but you do have to spend $180 to get the die set but it has this really cute caravan in it <laughs> so um, I just couldn't resist spending 180 and actually getting it but there you go that's me um, so this one here I've got trees for sale then it spins around and there's the trees and then there's a little doggy running along in the snow as well um, these here cut out using the die set as well so you've got two lots of stars which is what I've used there um, and as you can see that's got this window here so let me show you the next one that I made so then I made a make a wish <laughs> Only I couldn't fit it all in one line. So I was kind of like, oh, what am I going to do? Okay, people are going to have to read it in two lines. That's the way it goes. Happy birthday. Um, so you will notice that I've actually cut out a little bit extra on there just because I like people to be able to um, to get their finger in there. I'm not that keen on sort of like trying to do it over the top. Um, but I'll show you that as well in a moment. Um, this one here, I've used the Alpha Best bundle, which I, I know I've used in a video before, and and I just think it's fabulous. I love the way that you can stamp on, stamp the words out, and then just clip them out. And what I did was I worked out how many Bs, how many Is, how many Rs, etc. I was going to need in Happy Birthday, so I stamped this one once and this one twice because this had two lots of each in it and then that way I could just stamp those and clip them all out with my little teeny tiny cute bunch and then the O's I've made into balloons <laughs> just for something randomly different because I was looking at it going it doesn't actually have any balloons in it oh I know what I could do I could use an O and in fact, you know, OE kind of could make quite a cool balloon as well, just as a something different. But there you go. Actually, I think it was the zero, not the O, because the O would be a lot tinier. Anyway, yes, moving on from that. Um, so that's the two cards that I've made. You'll notice that this one uses the little sort of like triangular thing, whereas this one uses a heart. And there is also in the kit, there is a circle and there is that one so I just thought I would sort of show you how I went ahead and cut it and things like that so I'm not going to physically cut it but I am going to indicate how I did it if that makes sense hopefully it does all right so initially you have to cut out this part here so Forget that the little circle's there because potentially at the beginning of it, the circle is not there and you cut that out and then you've just got that. And it has that little tiny hole in the middle of it. So then the next thing I did was I cut out one of these because you're gonna need this to go underneath this and the two, two holes in it line up together. Then, you will find that each of these has a little hole in them, which is fabulous because you can then line up the hole, this hole with this, and wherever you put it on here is going to end up, so I'll just try and keep it at the right same place, hang on. 
So it's going to end up wherever you put it on there. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. Um, I did try um, actually popping that onto there and cutting it out like that. But I will say that it doesn't cut the whole hole. Whole hole? <laughs> Sorry, that, that made... <laughs> That made me laugh. <laughs> um, so when when you want, so if you if you were to do it like that, which you, which you can do, I did try that, and it does sort of work. But what you then have to do is is this little hole here. You just have to grab your pin tool and push it through because it um, it doesn't completely cut it, but it does score it sufficiently enough that you know where the hole is meant to be if that makes sense. So potentially you can do it that way. So let me pop. You'll notice on mine that I always draw around all my dies. That's so that I know that I can get them all back in the same place again because, um, and I actually often have to add extra layers of um, sticky to it to make sure that everything is going to stay. Um, but I just find that a lot easier than, um, than trying to then put them all back onto this and going, oh my goodness, they really don't fit. So, so once you've cut all the pieces out, you will find that you end up with spare pieces. So I got a little heart out of the one that I did with the heart. I got a little piece like that. This one here comes out of the middle of there. And in fact, there's a piece that will go around here, although you'd have to put your bread in first. And, you know, there's another piece that comes out of the middle of that. I don't think it's the same size. Well, that's a bit interesting. There you go. It's not the same size. Learn something new every day. So the next thing I did was you'll notice that both of mine actually have defining points as to where the um, picture actually is. Because I was think kind of thinking that I don't really want my picture to blur into one, which you could... I just wasn't very keen. So the way that I have done that is, let me grab a spare bit of paper. We'll say nothing more about the holy hole. <laughs> and um, let's go with, what color have I got here? Oh, that's black and gray, I don't really want that. Uh, this is purples, let's go with a purple, shall we? Um, Of course, of course, it's always the last one, isn't it? Uh, let's go with some Highland Heather. All right, so the way that I did it so that I could tell exactly where I wanted to stamp afterwards, I turned this upside down and you line up the hole together. That was clever, wasn't it? I should have opened that first. So that's my first one. Then I can turn it round. And if you kind of hold it up to the light, you can see where the last one was. I want it slightly further round than that. And you line up your hole again, which is not quite lined up. And this might be easier with my glasses on. So let's just, just slip those on too. Oh, look at that. I can actually see the hole. And then there's that one. And the last one hopefully will work out between the two. That's not there yet. Oh. There we go. All right, so one, two, three. Now, this side is very dirty, but this side is still clean. Ha ha! So therefore, you can now turn it like this. And let me just grab a, one of my little brads. And you will find oh, 
that if I can I'll just separate out my bread hang on might make it a lot easier to show you you'll find that they all now fit in together how cool is that so yeah there's just a little idea that I came up with um, I'm just gonna grab one of my vanilla cards and show you so let's take that back off there because I haven't finished with the card anyway and so what I then did was I've taken this I've put it where I want it to go on my card and I've obviously put my pencil away because that's what you do when you finished with it rare but true so I'm wondering because nah no nah, I'm gonna keep it the same so there we go so I'm gonna keep it like that and then just a case of trimming all the way round. Oh. There we go. Rubber and just rub out my excess marks. I always like to make sure that um, my rubber isn't going to um, produce any sort of like nasty black marks before I um, use it. So that's that's hence the fact I rubbed it off on there first because I've had it where I've gone to use a rubber and it's got like a nice black part on it there and I've gone to use it and of course it's given me a dirty great mark across the whole thing. And I've gone, oh no! <laughs> so now that, when it's joined up to there, should sit nicely on there and then you've got somewhere to get in there to um, to turn the thing-o. Uh, this thing-o. I know what I mean. So now it's just a case of deciding what you actually want to have say whether you want sayings in there whether you want little pictures in there how you're going to decorate up the rest of it um so i'm not 100 percent sure yet what i'm going to do but i was thinking i should use the clouds on one of these two um and you'll notice that i have put them so those two i've actually used the same spot there but I have decided with the circle to put it down here just for a random different change because I thought, you know, it doesn't matter where on this you actually put um, the different parts. So this one, I kind of felt like it needed to be straight, where, but I could have put it down the bottom and straight, so it could have been in the middle of the card. So let me just show you quickly again how we created that. The other thing you can do, you'll notice on this that there are, um, there's marks where it's cut out because um, the die cut has this extra bit here and as it presses through it does give you those marks, which is fine if you're using this one, but they're not quite so fine if you're using the other two. So you can actually turn it over and just use it on there if you want to and then that way you don't end up with the extra marks. So let's just do the same thing again. And this time we will go with a different colour. What colour are we going to go with this time? What have I done so far? Blue, blue, oh, purple, ah, uh, yellow. Well, let's go some yellow. Why not? Let's find an appropriate looking yellow. Oh, I know what would be nice. Mango Melody. Here it is. Mango Melody. Oh, looks a bit interesting. The ink pad might just give that a bit of a rough up. Yeah, that looks a lot better. 
Every so often, if the ink pad hasn't been used for a little while, you'll find that it ends up sort of looking a little bit crusty almost. Um, and now I have yellow all over me and all over the ink pad, so I'm just going to give myself a quick clean up and the ink pad a little bit of a clean. I'll give that a bit more of a clean in a minute. But that'll do for now. So, yeah, you can see that's not looking too bad now at all. So I'm just going to get rid of some of the excess colour because I probably don't want that much on my blender pen, uh, blending brush even. Right, let us, you know, I'm thinking it might be worth, oh, hang on a minute. I've got to turn that round, haven't I? Just turn the whole lot over. I honestly didn't think it was going to line up when I first did this. And um, yeah, but it does. So bonus. So there's the first one. Then we will twist that one out of the way. I can't see this colour on here. And there's the second one. Twist that one out of the way. Oh, okay. So obviously this one is going to overlap. Very interesting. In that case, I am thinking that I might actually do it on this side and try again and actually deliberately overlap them slightly so that um, I end up with an even Stephen, as they say. Hopefully nobody's name is Stephen, because I'm um, apolo uh, ah, apologies if that's the case. Uh, it's not personal. So let's start off that one. Move it round. So I just want probably a tiny bit in the corner there because it wasn't much that it overlapped by, but it was just a little bit. So let's go with that one. And hopefully I will be over to a, yay, look at that. Gee, everything's looking very yellow now, isn't it? <laughs> Alrighty. Including my bread. <laughs> Give that a bit of a lick clean, very hygienic. <laughs> okay, so that side is the side I want to use. That side looks all right, but you know, I did think that it might be kind of cool to actually add a little bit of yellow on the inside of the window like this. After I made my last card, I thought, oh, I should have done that, and maybe ran the outside. Might as well while I'm at it. I wonder if I can use my clouds on this one and call this kind of like the sun and then do the clouds. You never know. Oh, we'll see what I do. So then, therefore, that's the side I want. And let's just pop that back in. So you'll find that one, two, three, and they all fit. How cool, how exciting. So hopefully this has, um, oof, that's really, really grotty. Let's put that in the bin. Hopefully this has inspired you to, um, if you've got these dies, to have a little go with them. And if you haven't got them, feel free to buy them. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, if you've got anything similar, then um, have a go with it. Oh, gee, I have everything yellow currently. I think I'm going to be needing to clean this space up a bit. Um, go and check out my blog and find out what I end up doing with these cards. Um, and have a fabulous Saturday. Don't, oh, don't forget to share the love as well. So, um, you know, do share the video around. Let's get more more readers, as it were, or watchers. You lurkers. Um, <laughs> All right, I will see you next Saturday. Thanks for joining me. Bye.